Hello guys Good afternoon Dan selamat sejahtera Assalamualaikum semua Hari ini aku nak tunjuk kat korang Kat kita semua Bukan nak tunjuk atau nak share the info Mungkin tak semua orang tahu Tentang teknologi fiber optik So ini share the info Untuk semua Sama ada untuk pengetahuan am Ataupun untuk Apa orang cakap Untuk kerja Membantu peluang-peluang kerja Ataupun membantu kerja-kerja harian kamu Yang terlibat dengan fiber So guys Hari ni nak tunjuk cara Ataupun uh, Nak share benda-benda yang Apa yang perlu kita buat Jika kita nak buat End-to-end -end testing Ataupun Ataupun panggil Acceptance, acceptance test Ataupun performance test Untuk fiber optik So kita nak tunjuk apa dia alat-alat yang digunakan Tool, test gear Ataupun cara proses yang digunakan Atau yang dibuat Untuk kita buat nak tahu performance Kabel tu ok tak ok Atau di bawah dalam Kita panggil dalam spek fiber optik Yang ditetapkan oleh sesuatu operator Ataupun klien yang guna benda tu Ok so kita jom kita pergi tengok Apa yang kita ada apa di mana kita perlu test Apa yang kita buat Dan dari mana ke mana Itu dipanggil end to end test So kita jom Kita tengok Firstly we bring down the closure From the overhead pole This is a type of cable Of area cable We have two type Area or underground cable So this is the closure. We bring down and open up the closure. Inside the closure, we have the tray for the core jointed. Before we start the test, we must calibrate the power meter, optical power meter with a light source. Normally, we the we calibrate with a three time test uh, calibration with a transmit power of the uh, five dBm's normally. Uh, it's depend the specs and the, we use the wavelength of 1550 nanometer and then this is the power meter and light source in order to get the deviation value we must calibrate for three times this is the odf optical distribution frame this is a uh, odf consists of uh, 48 core And inside the ODF, we have a pigtail trail. That the white color is the pigtail trail. How they splice and arrange the core from 1 to 48 cores. This is uh, ODF consists for 48 cores. Now we start uh, testing the fiber optic using the OTDR. This is the OTDR. Uh, uh, this is how we measure the distance and detect the loss of the cable. The distance of OTDR we can detect from here. You can see the graph. So we can test every core. So we shoot the OTDR from the ODF until the end of the cable for every core every single core we shoot we test and we get the result for the distance and the total loss here also we can get the average loss of the splicing loss uh, and then uh, total loss of the total cable distance so we test one by one every core we test until finish This is our tester using the small fan because it's hot under the sun. It looks like he is a professional what he is doing. So we wait. For the result at the end, 
the OTDR we can set for the distance uh, uh, what the distance length uh, we need to know we can set for this uh, distance for this cable we only uh, test for 70 meter only distance so this the graph show when we get the result this is the last score we test and then the result is here you can see in the small photo uh, this is the example of the result uh, this is the splashing machine where we join the pigtail with the end of the core cables. We, uh, we put the light source power meter here. And then we will measure <coughs> for the power meter as we calibrate earlier today. We will test and splice for one by one. We start splicing the optical light source uh, we shoot with the tra transmit power of 5 dbm the wavelength we use uh, 1550 m nm with a single mode testing then we can see at the end of the cable i mean at odf where is the power meter located so we can see the result here so this is how we test and then we get the reading of the power meter in here so we test for each core until 48 core Then we can see the result with a 1550 nm nanometer. So we can get here, we get here is 6.97. And the result we will transfer to the form and we submit the, to the client. This is a sample of the result. After all the tests finish. Thank you.